it's me again. I hope you're happy to see me because I'm happy to see you. When I get up every morning, I try to say to myself, no matter what I feel like, because some days we don't feel like doing the things we need to do, I think to myself about a promise from the Bible that I really like. This is the day that God has made and I will rejoice, I'll be happy about it or I'll be glad in it. Glad is like happy. So we have the strength because God says so in his word. We have the strength to look at every day and be happy no matter what we need to do. So I'm excited to see you today. Today's animal is not exactly an animal, but rather a fish. This is Sandy the sunfish. S says S. S says Every letter makes a sound and S says S. How wonderful. I know you can do it too. To make the sound, you take your tongue and you put it behind your teeth. S. Mostly on top. You know when Miss Bridget makes her S sound, mine tend to whistle a little bit. My kids usually tease me because they say, they always know when I've come into the room because when I talk, my S whistles. <laughs> so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but that's the way God made me and I'm going to take it like it's a good thing. Now, the letter S, Sandy Sunfish is the animal you want to think of. This is the letter S and its sound is S. Just like we said in our last video, every letter has a name and every letter has a sound. Now, let's talk about how to make the big letter S and the small letter S or the capital letter S and the lowercase. Let's start at the top. Do you see that? It's kind of fun because you're taking your pencil and it's like you're making a snake. Let's try it again. Right like that. That's the big one, the uppercase S. And then the small one is half the size. Notice that this one is very tall, very big. And this one is the exact same kind of mark it's still like you're drawing a snake, but this one is half the size of the big one. And so it's very easy, and actually boys and girls, don't tell anybody, but Miss Bridget thinks it's really fun to make the letter S. I hope you feel like that too. Let's learn about the letter S today. The sunfish is our animal, remember? So sunfish live in the ocean, and they are very brightly colored. There may be some of you watching today. You've been to the ocean. You've even gone snorkeling or maybe even scuba diving. And you've seen sunfish in the ocean. You've seen how brightly colored they are. Their color often changes according to the conditions of where they live. If they live in very healthy water, they might have very good health. If there's a good food supply where they're living, then they're strong and robust and they can do all the things that a fish should do. And their wellness also depends on the temperature of the water where they live. The sunfish is a very happy fish. I think that's because he's so brightly colored. Now, they are not only found in the ocean, I should tell you this, but they're also found in other large bodies of water. So they might even be found in a lake or something like that. But we wanna think about S -S -S Sandy the sunfish today. S says, S says, every letter makes a sound and S says, S. Can you hear me whistle? Miss Bridget is really not trying to, but I've always been a whistler when I say my S's. Now, just like we had a song with Milton Mule, we also have a song with Sandy the Sunfish, and I'd like to sing it to you right now. First, I'll say the words. Sandy the Sunfish swam in the sea on Sunday, she had all her friends for tea. <laughs> Very interesting. Here we go. Now remember, Miss Bridget is not a famous singer, but I'll sing for you. Don't laugh at me now. A one, a two, a we know what to do. Sandy the sunfish swam in the sea. On Sunday, she had all her friends in for tea. Let's see if we can do it again. This time, I'd really like you to do it with me. Are you ready? A one, a two, a you know what to do. 
Sandy the sunfish swam in the sea. On Sunday she had all her friends in for tea. I think you can do it too. In fact, I know you can. All right, I want to share some words with you that have the letter S sound. And Miss Bridget would like to go ahead and start writing on her board a little bit. These are words that we all know. Are you ready? Now, while you're sitting there watching me, when I write the letter, Remembering that every letter has a name and every letter has a sound. I want you to say the letter, no matter where you are. Let's get started. Y. Yes, that's right, E. Is that Sandy the Sunfish? By George, Miss Bridget, it surely is. Our word is yes. Yes, and you see the letter S in this word. The next word I would like to do is a word that we all know right now. Are you ready? Tell me the letter as soon as I write it. M, yes, letter M like Milton Mule. A, very good. This is letter A like Abby Antelope that we learned last week. And now we're adding S like Sandy Sunfish. And finally, K. Let's sound this one out, boys and girls. I know you see the letter S like we already talked about. Mmm, plus ah, mass, mask, mask. It seems like whole, the whole world is wearing a mask right now, whether you like it or not, right? So, Let's do one more word that I think we all know also that has the letter S in it. Are you ready? Miss Bridget's gonna go to the top. Say the letter when you know its name. B, U, there's Sandy the Sunfish again. S, B, plus A. Uh. And we haven't talked about the letter U yet, so don't worry. B plus a bus. I can hear Sandy the sunfish on the end of that word, and I'm so excited. Boys and girls, now it's time for you to open your word building pace again. And today we're doing pages 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Remember to ask somebody for help if you need it, and I'll see you again really soon.